Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is kind of going to be like a vlog type deal because we're kind of having like an animal emergency kind of. Um, like I showed you guys before, the chicks that we had, they've been in our um, office. And what I've had to do, um, I didn't post the video, but what um, they got too big for that plastic container that they were in. And so when I go inside to go get them, I'll show you what they were in before. Now they've been in this enclosure for like two months. And so um, they're just now, like they they started pecking at it and they put a hole in it and they were able to escape. And so um, we're kind of having to um, make a emergency chicken coop because the chicken coop that they're gonna be in is not finished yet. And so um, we're kind of having to put some stuff together with some materials that we already had to make a chicken coop so they can come outside because they couldn't have. This is what they've been in for the past um, like month, um, I think month, maybe two months or something like that. Um, they, like I said, they got too big for the plastic. So I just took those, they have these trifold boards at Walmart. They're like $3.70 a piece. And so I took three of them, overlapped them and made this enclosure for them. Now this has been working great. Um, I just laid the, uh, made this and I just duct taped it and I put it on top of some um, industrial size trash bags so I could just scoop all the, the, the um, bedding up and put it in the compost. Now it's been working great, but they ended up putting a hole, they ended up picking a hole in here. And so, um, and I don't know, I don't know if they did that last night or when they did that but um they put a hole in it and so um they were when i came in here this morning they were out and they pooped on the floor it was disgusting um we're having to make a um, makeshift coop fairly quickly because my husband had to go to work and so um you guys are kind of getting like a first hand look at all this it's a mess but they're doing fine um they're doing really good but they've gotten really big Sorry, I, I was summoned. But anyways, so um, my husband's actually working on the coop now. We're about to go out and see what he's come up with to try and put them in there. They have been in here a little bit too long, but um, we haven't been able to. Uh, we were trying to find materials and things like that. And so um, it's time for them to come out anyway. And um, the coop is almost done, but they're impatient. You're impatient. But um, they're doing great and they've gotten so big. Wait till y'all see them. Let me show you guys. It's really time for them to come out. And so um, we're just having to um, create something where they can um, walk around and be um, safe. And I guess they're going to be free ranging for a little bit until we get everything set up. But um, we're about to go outside and see um, how far my husband's gotten with making the coop. So basically this is what we have so far. This is the coop. This is gonna be the coop, this part over here. But it's not done as you can see. But um, my husband, he added this pallet and then the pallet in the back and then the pallet on the side um, to make like a makeshift emergency coop now. I'll be covering most of it with tarp but I was trying to figure out like what to do as a door and he has to go to work. So I guess I'm going to be finishing this little project. These are some bed frames that were left from our beds. I use these to um, create like a greenhouse effect on the beds during over the winter time. And so um, we just took them and screwed them here and here. So I'm able to drape the tarp over this part and um, and I think I'm gonna add another like door here with the other side of this. And then I only have to cover this portion of um, of the entryway, I guess you would call it, with um, some wire. Now, like I said, this is only temporary. This is not, this is only to get them through like maybe one or two nights. And so um, I would not recommend this for um, a long period of time but um, this is just what we have to for them to use um, so they will stop jumping out of the, um, the enclosure that they're in right now.
this is what we've got at this point. Um, I ended up covering the whole thing in tarp. And this is the inside. I will be using some peat moss in here um, for bedding. And that's just what we got to work with for now. Like I said, this is very temporary because this is not um, going to be um, substantial enough for them to stay in long term. But they're only going to be in here for um, like two more days. and Well, two days. And so um, this is what we have. This is just because um, this side of the chicken coop is a, has a wall already that's solid. So we just added a pallet in the back, pallet on the side, and a pallet on the top. And I just covered it in tarp. And so this is what we have. Um... This has been stressful. Um, I think I'm going to try and um, put a door on there so they can't get out. Um, but still trying to figure out some of it. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment and let me know what you would do in this um, situation. Um, I love you guys. And as usual, I'll talk to you later. Bye.